Hello, this video helps you to understand how to manage the software licenses by using the application management module. This video will help you to understand how to add a licensed software, assign it to a device or a device group, evaluate the result, add a license unit, a query, an application, or an attachment to it. The software license management node under the application management node enables you to manually create a licensed software or add several licenses at a time by importing the license data via a CSV file. The configuration node enables you to configure the behavior of the software license management functionality by modifying these parameters. If you specify 30 as the number of days before sending a license expiring alert value, then you will receive an alert 30 days before the license expires. If you specify 50 as the license under installation percentage threshold to send an alert value, then you will receive an alert when 50% or less of the available licenses are installed. If you specify 80 as the exceeded license usage percentage threshold to send an alert value, then you will receive an alert when 80% or more of the available licenses are used. Let's start with adding a new license software manually. Right-click and select Create License Software. Enter the name for the license software. Select the evaluation type. Select scanned application to populate the license unit with individual software applications that are under the same license scheme. Select query to populate the license unit via the result of a query of type device, that is, all devices that answer the software criteria specified in the query. Select software catalog to populate the license unit with applications of the software catalog that are under the same license scheme. The software catalog feature is only available if you own a compliance license. Let's select scanned applications and click OK. To add or update multiple licenses at the same time, you will need a CSV file listing all the field names in the first line and the details of the licensed software to be added or updated in the next lines. The licensed application column is mandatory. To import a CSV file, Right-click and select Import License Data. Click the Sample Import File with Instructions link to download the sample CSV file. Click the Browse button to locate the CSV file containing all the license information. Select the file and click Open. The Field Mapping section displays the structure of the selected file. Specify the destination for each column in the CSV file by selecting the desired value from the list. Click OK to confirm the mapping. In the Select License Software from List window, you can either add the imported items to licenses or replace the existing licenses with the imported data. Let's select Add Imported Items to Licenses and click OK. The imported licenses are added to the Software License Management node. To assign devices or device groups to the license software, go to the Assigned Objects node. On the Device Groups node, Right-click and select Assign Device Group. Select the Device Group and click OK. The license software will check the Assign Device Group when calculating the license usage. To view the evaluation status, double-click the Device Group. The Assign Devices tab shows the evaluation status for each device. The Bar Chart and Pie Chart tabs show the same information in the graphical format. You can evaluate the license situation of all objects assigned to a license software. To do that, go to the license node, right click and select evaluate. The data is re-evaluated for all assigned objects. The licenses tab enables you to add licenses that you have purchased for the defined license software. To do that, right click and select add license. The add a license window displays where you can add software information, warranty and support information, and dates such as purchase date and expiration date. You can find information about each of these fields in the BMC online documentation portal. You can create a new vendor or select an existing one. Let's select a vendor and click OK. On the Attachments tab, you can attach files to the license software that contain specific license information. Right-click and select Add Attachment. Let's select the README file and click Open. 
On the Units tab, you can add license units from the software catalog. A license unit is any type of software application or tool. The license software will manage the added license units. This feature needs the compliance management license. To add a license unit, right-click and select Add License Units. Select the vendor of your license unit from the list. The list of available license units in the box below changes to display all available products for the selected vendor. Select the product and click OK. The selected product is added as a license unit. The Units tab is displayed only if the license software is of type Software Catalog. If the license software is of type Scanned Applications, the Applications tab will be displayed instead of the Units tab. You can add applications either from the Custom Applications or from the Software Inventory. To do that, right-click and select Add from Software Inventory. Let's select one or more applications to be added to the list of monitored applications and click OK. The added application is now a part of the currently selected license software. If the license software is of type Query, the Query tab will be displayed instead of the Applications tab. The result of the query represents the devices on which the software is installed. To add a query, right-click and select Add Query. Select the query to assign and click OK. The Dashboard tab graphically displays the status of the license software. The Licenses graph displays the general license status by using the listed attributes. The Authorization graph displays a pie chart depicting the device repartition according to their license authorization. The Compliance graph displays the device compliance in connection with the authorizations assigned to the license software. The Usage graph is only available for scanned application-based software license objects. The usage information is retrieved from the event logs. For more information about this topic, see the BMC online documentation portal. Thanks for watching.